What's up everyone? Welcome to day number five of effort in our process program. This is your 45 minute glutes and abs workout. So grab your dumbbells on some glute bands and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to your glutes and abs workout. I'm really excited to get into this workout with you today. A couple things to get you set up and then we'll hop right into the warm up. Have my sweat towel and my water bottle as always, so make sure you have some water. I also have my glute bands out here today. Really gonna help us feel the external rotation of our knees and that glute abduction work. So if you have yours, go ahead and grab them. If you don't, I always link our glute bands in the description below. And then our bench today will help you if you wanna put your shoulder blades up for a little bit deeper range of motion in your glute bridge, but also so yes, we're gonna use them full for Bulgarian split squats. So taking it down single leg. If you don't have a bench, you can also use a chair or something like that, or I'll show you how to make it work without the bench, and you're just gonna take it a stagnant lunge, okay? For dumbbells, we're gonna jump all the way up into your heavier set for your glute bridges, three rounds of 45 seconds. So I'm gonna to try to push up into my 40 and 50 pound dumbbells, all the way down to a lighter set for things like lateral lunges, where we'll stay stationary and just sit right here, okay? So grab the ranges that work for you, probably up in your heavier weights today. Your core is gonna be body weight, so let's work hard together, all right? Hands on your hips, we're gonna shift back and hinge. Two, one, let's go. Good, stretch and then engage. You're gonna hear me say engage a lot today. And when I say that, I just want you to think of your glutes squeezing together. Not pushing forward, but squeezing together. Good job. Two more. Good, last one. Come to the top, let's stagger your feet. Take it down and up. One more. Switch legs. I like to get into the mobility portion of the warm up first so your joints are ready. You're working out early in the morning or after a long day of being seated. This is really beneficial to make sure you get the best out of your workout. Good job. Wide stance, take it just a little wider than your mat. Sit it down, drive your knees out with your forearms. You should feel this in your inner thighs. And then hands down, hips up. Let's glide through that. Lift the hips and sit again. Last one, up and down, and then place your hands on the mat. Kick your feet back into a pike and plank rotation. Keep it moving. As you drop your hips down, exhale. Last one. Good job. Go ahead and grab your light glute resistance band and you're gonna put it right over top of your knees. We've got a little three minute glute activation work here. Okay, we're gonna stand up top and drive the heel out to the side. Let's go. Two. One, come on. So two minutes of mobility, three minutes of activation. We're working in the frontal plane, the sagittal plane, and then the transverse plane. Great job. Now give me two pulses per side. One, two. Great job, just lifting the left leg, let's go. Drive with the heel, so you're leading up with the heel, not the toe. Five seconds and you switch legs. Two, one, other side. Great work, five seconds, you're gonna put your hands on the bench, two, one, and kick it back. Let's go. This one we're working in the sagittal plane. So this is hip extension, kind of getting your hips from a bent position to an extended. Good job, lift your left leg up, bend your leg, and then drive the heel right here. Good, straighten it out now, lift the heel. Four, three, 
Switch sides. Here we go. Lift it and bend. Drive, drive, drive. Four, three, straight leg, two, one, go up and up. Good job. Four, three, two, one, and good job. Take it nice and wide. Squat, stand. Just a little half squat so your knees are driving out. Good job. Stop here in the middle. Let's go sit, tap, sit, tap. That's it. Good, stay here, 15, drive out, 14, 13. Great work, five, four, two, one. We're nice and warm now, okay. Let's get into the work, 30 seconds and we'll start. We start back with, whoops, tap back Romanian deadlifts. Okay, you're gonna take one leg, tap it back, and switch. All right, two dumbbells in your hand. We've got 45 second work periods today. Time for you to use some good challenging weights, okay? So nine seconds, we're alternating for round number one. The front leg does the work. Three, two, exhale. It's okay to have just a bit of a knee bend. Okay, as long as you're not squatting for this one in particular, hinge back and then bend just a little. Come right back up. Great work. Eight seconds. And rest. All right, now just the right leg. I'm gonna go a bit heavier. Single dumbbell, okay? Right leg stays right here. We're gonna tap back and up. Ready? Two, one, let's go. As you bend, feel the stretch here. Exhale, come back to neutral. Make sure you're not coming from neutral to overextension. Okay, just right here, squeeze. 10 seconds. One more, two, one. Good job, rest. And you're finishing it out with the left leg staying on the ground. I do want both legs on the ground for this so you can jump up into that challenging weight. Let's go in five. Two, come on. Drive your heel into the floor. Big toe, pinky toe, and heel are gripping that ground. Back leg just moves out of the way. Taps back for balance. It's all about the front leg. Come on, seven. And rest, good. All right. Take a breather, we're moving on to one more glute exercise before we jump into two core exercises. Okay, try to pair them up two and two all the way through this workout. You're moving into lateral lunges, okay? So we're stepping it out, staying here, okay? 
as you sit. Break at the hips and at the knee. So it's not just the knee, hip, knee, and sit. Okay? Um, let's see. Here's my 25. And you can hold low or at your chest for a goblet hold. Ready? Here we go. Four, three, to the left. Two, one. Nice work. Keep your shoulders level so you're not twisting out towards your leg. You're just shifting your weight and sitting. Single leg squat. And really drive your heel out of the bottom here. Something you can work on for each round is getting a little lower with your hips. 10 seconds. Rest. Beautiful. We're taking it to the other side in 10. Ready? Same thing. Bend here and here together. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice work. Exhale, brace your core. Nice. 15. Keep your back strong. Shoulders are pulled back here. Two, one. Great job. One last round. Whew. And we're gonna go right into the left, okay? So 45 here, right into 45 here. Let's go in five. To the right, three, two, one, come on. Let's close out these lateral lunges. And then it's rest time. And we move on to your core. Whew. Try to rest a little bit less at the top here. Think of being down, digging your heel in more and more. That's it. 15 seconds, you're just gonna switch right over to lunging to the left. Two, one, switch directions and keep going. 45 here, then we rest. Good work, 15. Come on, push, push, push. Seven. Three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. Grab some water, moving on to your core. I'm gonna lay my towel down for some straight arm sit-ups, okay? This can be progressed with dumbbells, but just to show you before we start, hands are right over your chest. You're gonna think of sitting up, exhaling, reaching diagonal, and then shooting your head through your biceps. Okay, back down right here. If you're ready for a weight, hold it here. It's just gonna keep going right up over your head. Okay, let's go in 10 seconds. Four. Three, 45 on the clock. Two, one, exhale. Three, 
good. 20 seconds left to make this a little tougher. Just tap your low back down and come right back up without totally relaxing. Okay, tap and push. Nine. Two, one, good, 15 seconds rest. Go a little heavier if you are able. Okay, I'm gonna keep challenging you to challenge yourself. Round two, we go in four. Three, two, one, exhale. Really keep that dumbbell over your chest so that your core is fighting against resistance. This is how we build our ab muscles to see definition. Okay, we put some resistance on them. Not just feel them burn, but make them work. 15, come on. Two, one, and rest. Good job, one more time through. Same thing, okay? Make sure you're not just thinking, go until it burns. Think, fight against that resistance. Go up if you can. Three, two, one, come on. You hear me breathing a lot. I'm exhaling and I'm thinking about wrapping my core. Good job, over halfway through. If you can add that just back tap and up, let's do it. Tap, go. Eight, seven. Three, two, one. Great job, your next move also on the floor. Toe touches with a leg drop, okay? You're gonna have your dumbbell over your chest or just your arms. Okay, you're gonna drop, crunch, drop, crunch. Body weight if you need to, dumbbells if you can. Okay, we go in 12 seconds. If you need water, grab it. If you need to adjust your weights, let's do it. Legs up in the air. <sighs> Exhale, three, two, one, let's go. And to modify, you can keep your legs right up top here and you can lose the dumbbell. Eight, seven. Two, one, and rest. Look over at me closely. Leave your left leg up in the air. For this round, you're gonna go right leg drop, up, drop, up. Seven seconds and we go. Ready? Come on, leg up, right leg moves. Three, two, one. Relax your neck. If your shoulders are reaching for your ears, Relax them down and back. Just think of lifting your chest towards your thigh. Last 15, if you're able, keep your leg floating right there. 10. Four. Rest, same thing, just the other side. And then we'll breathe, great job. So right leg is up, are you ready? Yes, you're ready, come on. Right leg up, left leg moves, three, two, let's go.
And if you need to break this up, like I said, keep your feet up or you can go up and down and then crunch. Good. Last 15 seconds. The option is there to drop your leg and hold it there as you crunch. Let's go. Five. Two. And rest. Beautiful job. Abs on fire. Go ahead and grab some water. You're doing great and we're moving into glute bridges. All right, bigger range of motion. You have the option to put your shoulder blades here on the bench. Okay, holding a dumbbell right here. Dip and extend. When you extend, you're making sure that you're not here. Chin up, belly up. Your chin tucked, glutes flexed under. Okay, we've got four rounds of 45 seconds for your glute bridge. Eight seconds and we will go. Three, two, one, come on. Good, you're looking straight out past your knees. Sit. Squeeze the glutes together. Remember, engage is to squeeze together, not just to lift high. 10. Three, two, one. If you can go heavier, let's go. Round number two out of four. We go in five. Three, two, one. Drive. Good, if you need to support your neck, hold your head here and then hold the other hand on your dumbbell if you can. 15. Six, five, two, one. Good job, same thing. If you can go up, let's do it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Round number three out of four. So you should be getting close to when you're shaking, you're burning a little bit. Add a little pause at the top to really engage here. Fifteen. Three, last one, two, one. Good. Whew. Breathe. One more time. Oh, you're doing great. Last round here. Four. Finish strong. Come on. Three, two, one. Let's go. Engage, glutes together. Good job, come on. Almost there, 15. Power it up, five. Two, one, 
rest. Ah, great work. Throw the dumbbell off carefully <laughs> and grab some water. Good work on that four round set. Your next move, we also have four rounds, single leg, Bulgarian split squats. Two rounds per leg. Okay, if you don't have a bench, like I said in the beginning, you're just gonna take it here. Think about seated squat out front with just one leg, okay? If you can use a dumbbell, grab it. We'll go in 10 seconds. We're gonna start with your right leg on the ground. Left leg is back up top. Here we go. A lot of people like this goblet squat hold last time. Let's go. So if you'd rather do that, let's do it. I do want you to remember, your chest is angled over your quad. So if you're a bit more upright, this is more quad dominant. If you're kind of hinged over your quad, flat back a little more, it's more glute dominant. So I'd like for you to take flat, strong back over your quad. 15 seconds. Dig your heel down, drive it up. Rest, good. Switching legs, try to keep the same weight here for leg number two as you did leg number one. Good job, here we go, four. Other side, ready? Two, one, let's go. Stay over your front quad and heel. Just like a squat. If you were to imagine my back leg isn't even in the picture, front leg, it would just look like I'm sitting in a squat. Eight, seven. Two, one, good job. Can you go a little heavier for the second round through? Only two rounds per leg, four rounds total. Okay, so let's go up if you can. Whew. As I trip over myself. Four, three, two, left leg. Come on, work it out. Back leg is just there for balance, not for pushing. Nice, three, two, one, okay. Rest and hit the other leg after a 15 second break. Then we're done with split squats. Okay, then we'll move on to some standing rotational core. Three, two, one. Get down there, feel your glute stretch, engage the glute to come up. Meaning drive your heel into the floor as hard as you can. <sighs> 10 seconds, come on, stay in it. Three, two, one. Great job, stay standing, grab a lighter dumbbell. We've got wood choppers, okay? You're taking it from right hip over left shoulder. Here and up, let's go in three, two, one. Come on. Three, two, one. 
Keep your rib cage tucked in so you're not here. Okay, it's here. Drop the dumbbell, shake your arms out. Taking it to the other hip, okay? This is all about using your core to pull and then also using your core to stop the rotation so you don't just keep going, right? Let's pull, control, stop. Let's go. Just showing another variation here. Join your hand on the way up and stop it together. Five, four, three, two, rest. Good. Other side. One more time, each side, okay? It's about pulling, control, stop. Four, two, one. Swing, control, pause. Down. Fifteen more seconds. One more. Three, two, one. Rest. And one more time on the other side. And we're moving on. All right, let's go. Four. Three, two, one. Good, flex your core, stack your ribs over your hips. Don't let them flare. Okay, jackknives, taking elbow to knee, okay? So you're coming up, most advanced option is here. If you need to dial that back a little, here. Okay, you just stay on the floor. Got it? All right, we'll go in eight seconds. And if you want to make this more difficult, dumbbell would be here, you'd go here. Ready? Let's go. Switch every time. Sorry, my mistake, I forgot to tell you. Just alternate every time. Fifteen. Good. Round one down. We've got two more to go. Breathe. You have the option if you want to really step it up to do left leg this round, right leg second round, 
or if you'd like to stay alternating, go for it. Three, two, one, come on. Exhale as you're coming up. Okay, so don't hold your breath and Okay, exhale. Last 15. Rest. One more time. Either alternating round three or you switch sides. If you decided to go one leg round two, just switch to the other side. Big deep breath. As you exhale, melt your ribs down. And let's go. Good. As you roll up, it's gonna be the toughest if you're not really crunching, 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 but keeping yourself a little more open. Okay, so instead of this, <laughs> try to keep it open. Twist. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Last one. Two. One. And rest. Oh. Okay. Grab water. Thirty seconds rest. And we're moving into a little band circuit. Four minute and wrap. Okay. So. Grab a glute resistance band. You're gonna throw it around, kind of like your knee or calf area. Tougher right here, a little bit easier up here. So pick where you wanna go, okay? What we've got is one minute Superman abduction, okay? So we start here, we're lifting, driving out for one minute, okay? Minute number two, you're driving. Minute number three, you're driving here. Minute number four, you're fluttering here. Okay, so we start on our stomach in 10 seconds. Go with the weight that is challenging to you or the resistance. Superman, three, two, one, we're up. Drive your heels out, 60 seconds. Speed isn't necessarily important here, it's about the drive. Out, out, out. Point your toes to the ground so they're not flat pointing to the left or right, they're here, they're leading with the heel. Good job, now let's tap, in, out, in, out. Toes, tap, heels, lead. Good, keep your back engaged, keep your glutes squeezing. 15 seconds, and you're gonna roll over, Onto one hip. There you go. Three, two, one. Roll to the hip. Keep going. Drive up, up. Same thing here. You're leading with the heel, not the toe. Good. If you want to make this a little easier, band scoots up closer to your hip. Good job. 30 more seconds. You should feel this all right here. All right, the glute is driving really well. I'll try not to take it down to the floor. And lift. Try to keep a little in the band the whole time. Yes, that makes it tougher, but it makes you stronger. 15. We're rolling onto the other hip in six, five. You can just roll right over. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. I'm gonna flip it around for you. Keep it going. Good. 
If anything, I'd rather you roll a little bit more forward so that we're really targeting the glute versus open here, okay? Roll just a little bit more forward and then drive that heel to the sky, come on. Good job, you got 20 seconds, and then you're flipping onto your back, fluttering outward. Okay, so that's gonna really challenge our core. On that outward flutter, the higher your legs are, the easier it is, so the lower, the more challenging. Three, two, one, roll to your back, hands under your hips if you need it. That's it. I keep kind of scooting my band up and down because this is a little easier. Higher is a little harder. So I need to challenge my core here. Gotta make sure I can control this abduction. Thirty seconds. Good job. Good, 10, nine. Three, two, one, and rest for 30 seconds. We have a two minute glute bridge burnout. And that's it, okay? We're done after that. Two minutes of glute bridge burnout. I want your heavier weight and I want your shoulders on the ground so the majority of the work can be push, 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 push. All right? 15 seconds. Grab a weight that you can bridge for two minutes straight. A band if you're ready for it. And we're going in five, four, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Two minutes on the clock, as many glute bridges as you can. Power it up, slow down. Good, 30 seconds in. Keep breathing, exhale as you push the glutes together. Minute number two starts in three, Two, one, if you can amp it up a little. Let's go, come on. I'm gonna add my heavy band. Keep going, keep going. Come on, these glutes are on fire, right? You know the song. Whew. How many of you just sang the Alicia Keys song? These glutes are on fire. They got 30 seconds to work, and if you hold them up there, 30 seconds. If you're holding up, drive your knees out, dig your heels down. Hold, 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 come on. Work for it. You got 15 seconds. If you're up, drive your knees out just a little. Go, 14, 13, 12 more pulses. Oh, come on. Five. Two, one, drop your hips down. <sighs> and you've made it to your cool down. Amazing work, give me two minutes. Do not leave the floor, okay? Trust me, you're gonna want this. Take your band off, come on up, seated position. Reach out, pull your toes back towards you. Lead forward with your chest. You made it to your cool down, so do not leave yet. <sighs> I want your back, your core, your legs, your glutes to feel good. If you're pushing really hard, this is the closing of week number one of effort. And you might feel a little bit sore. I know I definitely have been sore because I'm just pushing 
myself to an intensity that I know is going to get us to those goals, as long as you don't quit, okay? Come on up, cross your left foot over ankle to knee, push it up, and walk yourself up closer to your shin. I know if you don't quit on this challenge, we're gonna see some crazy changes, okay? Positive benefits only around here. Great job, switch sides. And I'm pushing you to a level that as long as you show up, we've got this. You put in the effort by showing up and by not quitting. And if I can train you for anything, fitness and in life, it's to not quit. Never give up. If you know me, you know kind of a little bit about my story. You know how much that message means to me on a personal level and it's transferred into how I operate in all areas of my life. Okay, bad things are gonna happen. We're gonna fail at times. It's gonna be hard. We're gonna be unmotivated most of the time, right? We just can't give up. The results aren't made in the times where it feels great. They're made in the results. They're made in the times where you know results are coming as long as I don't give up, as long as I stay moving forward. Okay, come on up to standing however you can get there. Take your time, shift your hips back, nice flat back. Change is made when you decide to start something and you don't give up, okay? The results are earned along the journey, honestly. Hips come forward, push, push, push. You change into the person that you need to be along the way. Okay, good. Cross your left leg behind your right and take it down. Oftentimes we wait until we get to a goal or result to celebrate, but truly you're achieving the results along the way if you don't stop because you're learning how to not give up. Switch legs. Okay, you're learning how to say, during this time when it's really tough, here's how I made it work. So that when it gets tough again, you know I've done this before. I've gotten through tough times, unmotivated times before, here's how I made it work. And because I didn't give up back then, it's gonna help me not give up now. The lesson is learned along the journey. The results will come and they will continue to come on the way to what you have in your mind is that big goal. But also along the way, you can see yourself start to change into the person that you have to be to get to those goals, okay? Reveal that version of yourself to yourself this year, okay? In times when you would normally quit, say, just not this time, I'm just going to figure it out, okay? If you've got a day where you wake up late and you're like, oh, Sydney has a 45 minute workout on the clock or on the calendar, I only have 15, start the workout, give me 15 minutes, okay? Just don't give up. Don't throw in the towel on yourself this year. You're gonna learn who you need to be and who you have to be to make that future version of yourself come to life. And I can't wait for you to meet that person. I will see you back here for our next workout. Make sure you have your workout calendar. You grab your glute bands if you don't have any. All of that's in the description below and comment below. Week one of effort crushed. I'll see you next week. Da, 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 da.